Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about switch statements in PHP. Now, a switch statement is basically just a special type of if statement which we can use to compare one value to a bunch of different values. So there's certain circumstances when we want to use the functionality of an if statement, but we want to check a bunch of different cases. And in a situation like that, we can use a switch statement in order to make it a lot easier. So I'm going to show you guys how to use switch statements and we'll kind of, I'll show you guys an example in this tutorial that will hopefully illustrate it. So over here in my program, I have a, a basic little program set up. Basically, I have this form over here and I'm asking the user what their grade was. So this is a program where the user can enter in their grade and it'll basically like tell them what they got. So the user could enter in a grade that they got on a test, for example. And then down here, I'm storing the grade that they enter inside of this grade variable and I'm just printing it out onto the screen. So it's very simple. And over here, I'll show you guys how it works. So let's say I got an A plus on my test. I could put A plus in here and then I could click submit and it'll just print it out down there. So this is a pretty simple program, um, but we're actually gonna make it a little bit more interesting with switch statements. So let's say that instead of just printing out the grade that they got, instead, we wanted to tell them how they did. So if the user got like an A, then we could basically be like, hey, you did really well on this test. Or if the user got a B, we could be like, hey, you did all right. Or if they got a C, we could be like, you could do better next time. And if they got an F, we could tell them that they failed. So in other words, what if we can make our program be able to respond to the grade that the user got? Well, I'm going to show you guys how we can do that really easily with something called a switch statement. And like I said, a switch statement is very similar to an if statement. It's basically another way that we can allow our program to respond to different information. Um, a switch statement, though, is used in a situation like this where we want to compare the grade to a bunch of different um, possible values. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. I'm just going to come down here and we'll set up the switch statement. So you're just going to type out switch and open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. Now, inside of these parentheses, I want to put a value. So what we could actually do is we could put this grade right here. So I'm just going to pass in um, dollar sign grade. And basically what this means is that we're going to compare the grade to a bunch of different things. And depending on whether or not it's equal to those things, then we'll do you know something here or there. So inside of this switch statement, I can create something called a case. So I just want to type out case, and then I'm going to type out a capital A just like this, and then I'll type out a colon. Basically, what this means is that in the case that the grade is equal to A, I can come down here and I can actually type out some code. So I could just type out like echo, and I'll just say you did amazing. And then I can just put a semicolon here. And then I'm going to say break right here. And I'll explain to you guys what break does in a second. Basically, what this is saying, though, is it's saying that in the case that grade is equal to an uppercase A, then we're going to type out you did amazing. So actually, let's go ahead and try this out. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and type in an A. So I'm actually going to refresh the page and I'll put a capital A in here. Now, when I click submit, Instead of just printing out capital A, it's going to print out you did amazing, right? So it's actually able to respond to the value that I put in there. If I put like a B in here, for example, though, and I click submit, it's not printing out anything, right? That's because I didn't tell it to do anything. But what I could do is I could create another case for B. So I could come down here and say case and then capital B and I'll type a colon. And now I could type out echo. You did pretty good. And then once again, I'm going to say break down here. So now if I go over to my program and I refresh the page and I was typing in a B, now it's going to tell me you did pretty good. So if I type in a capital A, it says you did amazing. If I type in a capital B, it says you did pretty good. So it's actually able to respond to the different grade that I got. And so what I could do is I could basically create one of these cases for all of the possible grades. Now, I want to explain one more thing, which is this break statement. And this break statement is basically a statement that will break us out of a programming structure. So switch over here is a programming structure, right? We're in here in between these open and close um, curly brackets. 
And when we put break here, it basically will break us out of the switch statement. So for example, let's say that the grade was equal to A, right? So this case was true and we came down here and we printed out, you are amazing. If I didn't put a break statement here, then this switch statement would keep executing. So even though I figured out that the grade was an A, I would keep looking through all of the other cases. So the reason we put a break here is because once we've figured out that the grade was equal to A, I don't wanna check any more cases, right? So I'm just gonna put a break there and it'll break us out. Now you don't need to put the break there, but um, a lot of times people will just because it's more useful. So I can create a case for all the possible grades. So I could create one for C, D, and F. And I'm actually gonna go off, I'm gonna do that, and then we'll come back and we'll see what I did. All right, so I went ahead and I created cases for most of the common grades. So I have one for A, B, C, D, and F. So for each one of these grades, it's basically giving you a different message. If you get a D, it says you did very bad. If you get a C, it says you did poorly. If you get an F, it says you fail. And we have cases for all of these possible grades. So now, if I actually came over here into my program, this thing will be able to respond to a lot of different grades. So I'm gonna refresh the page and we'll just click continue. And now if I typed in like an F for example and I click submit, it's gonna tell me that you fail. If I type in a C, it'll say you did poorly. If I type in an A, it'll say you did amazing. If I typed in a B, it's gonna say you did pretty good. Um, there's one problem with this program though. And if I type in a, a grade, like an invalid grade, for example, if I typed in a G right here and I click submit, you'll notice that nothing's getting printed out, right? So no errors getting thrown, like the program is still running, but nothing is actually getting printed out. And the problem is that we're not handling that situation. So over here in this case statement, we don't have a case for like every possible input. But if the input isn't one of these valid grades, maybe we could like tell the user, hey, you entered in an invalid grade. And to do that, I could actually come down here and use what's called a default statement. So I could just type out, default and I'm going to type a colon and then down here I can basically just type out something I want to do um, so I could just say like invalid grade and essentially what this is going to do is um, when none of these cases up here are true in other words when it's not a b c d or f then we're going to go ahead and execute this code and it's just going to say invalid grade so now when I come over here to my program and I type in, like if I typed in an A, it's still gonna tell me that I did amazing. But if I typed in a G, now it's gonna tell me that I had an invalid grade. So that default um, case is actually gonna get executed for us. So that's kind of how we can use these switch statements. And like I said, a switch statement is very similar to an if statement. In fact, everything that you can do with a switch statement, you could do with an if statement. It's just that switch statements make it a lot easier for us to do that. And really switch statements are used in a situation where you have one value like the grade and you wanna compare it to a bunch of different values. So switch statements are very useful and there's tons of situations where these will come in handy. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.